We're now in Algebra 2, 9.5a, and we're going to talk about the graphs of quadratic functions. The function of x equals a times the square of x minus h plus k. We have nine previous videos, and if you become lost or confused during this one, my advice is to click on this description, watch the previous videos to catch up. We can graph a function and determine its characteristics. In the function of x equals a times the square of x minus h, we can replace this function of x with the function of x minus k. If we add k to each side of the equation, we end up with the plus k over here. And by the theorem we learned in video 9.2a, and yeah, there's a link to that video in this description, we know that the graph will be translated upward if k is positive and downward if k is negative. And the vertex will be translated the same way, and the line of symmetry will not be affected. So I have some guidelines for you for graphing quadratic functions. The line of symmetry is x minus h. It's right here. And if we set it to equal 0 and add h to each side of the equation, we get x equals h. That's our line of symmetry. And the vertex is the point h, k. And if a, right here, this value for a is greater than 0, then the point h, k is the lowest point, like this. If we have a parabola, that's the lowest point of the graph. And the k is the minimum value of the function. And if a this a right here, this a value is less than 0, then that point hk is the highest point of the graph, and k is the maximum value of the function. So if we have a 2 here, that's greater than 0, so that's the lowest point, and k is the minimum value. If we have a negative 2, that's less than 0, so that's the highest point, and k is the maximum value. See? So we can graph the function of x equals 2 times the square of x plus 3 minus 2. Because this is an x minus h, what we can do is say x minus a negative 3, because that would make a positive 3, wouldn't it? So our vertex is negative 3, negative 2. That's our hk. Negative 3, negative 2 right here. Instead of the origin compared to the function of x equals x squared, which would have a line of symmetry on y, and its vertex would be at the origin. Now, because we're at negative 3, negative 2 for our point, that's our vertex right there. The value for a is a 2, and 2 is greater than 0, so that's our lowest point. That negative 2 is our minimum value. And the value for a is positive, that's a positive number, so our parabola opens on top. See that? Our domain is a negative infinity infinity, because the values for x continue forever into negative infinity and positive infinity. So that's our domain. And our range is negative 2 infinity, because the values for y go from this negative 2 right here, and as the domain goes up into these values, the y continues up forever. So we have a negative 2 to infinity, see? So the graph is going to open up if the a value is positive, the graph is going to open downward if the a value is negative. The graph is going to be wider than the graph of the function of x equals x squared if the absolute value of a is greater than 0 or less than 1. And it's going to be narrower than that function of x equals x squared if the absolute value is greater than 1. You might want to write these down. That's going to help you. Okay? Maybe you can pause the video and write those down. So you want to remember our guidelines, okay? That's our line of symmetry right there. The vertex is the hk. If a is greater than 0, then that's our minimum value, the lowest point. If a is less than 0, that's our highest point and our maximum value, okay? If a is equal to 0, the graph would be a horizontal line. It would be y equals k. And the graph of any function can be translated, stretched, shrunk by the proper replacement of x and y in the original equation. All right? Our next video is going to be 9.5b. We're going to determine different characteristics of the quadratic functions. And I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist. I'm going to have a link to Chapter 12 from last year from Algebra 1 that might help you out. And I will link to all those previous nine videos we've done for Chapter 9 so far. All right? So I hope this was helpful. I hope it made sense and it cleared up about the domain and range and opening on the top or the bottom and the lowest and highest points. All right. 
and I hope I'll see you next video. Bye.